Hi guys! I've been to vets this morning for a follow up with my cat Deja, you know, over jaw cancer, and um, got there and blood just started pouring out of her mouth. I got blood splatters on me, blood splatters on the vet. <laughs> so she had to um, press on in, keep uh, on her on her, on her, in her mouth and with some gauzy type thing or tissue until it stopped bleeding and um, it's not really good. She she thinks she's only got weeks left now, <clears throat> and um, the teeth are cut, which they do come loose with um, carcinoma. So um, one of the teeth has come loose, which is causing all the bleeding and the stench. The smell is just just terrible. So she's giving me these weak uh, these antibiotics again for her, so which I break up it, uh, break her open, put the powder in a bit of water and syringe it into her mouth. So she gets one of them. <coughs> once a day for 10 days and as well she's got a painkiller meloxade so that's Deja out of the way so she's sorted now so she'll be on these for 10 days uh, because it uh, looks like it, it's going to get infected all the time because of the cancer and she said the, the jaw might break um, which she's a bit worried about so I've got to keep a very close eye on that and um uh, but she thinks she's only got weeks now which is sad so a sister older because i'm worried about a sister really um she's going for a full overall next tuesday full checkup making sure she's fine and then the other two cats say and becca they're not related but they're going to get the um, checkups as well uh in the next two weeks so i've got another haul for you so I'll get the cat stuff out of the way first. So I've got some more of these because they seem to like these. Now it's in a lighter pink pack, uh, packet now. This is the chicken and liver. 95% fat free. Um, fat free. Meat, sorry. <laughs> I can never say these ones right. <laughs> you know what I mean. 95% meat. Which is okay. And I saw these and these look nice and squidgy and soft. Which would be good for Deja's um, sore mouth. So, um, yeah, these are salmon. These are like little treats as well. Not as healthy as them like, but nevertheless. Then I got these, I treated Deesia to some more of this. Uh, well, she's not had this before, but some more mushy food. So these are the applause, natural food. So I've got one of them, see what she likes. <coughs> Another one. Another one. I don't know one. I might even treat the. I might even keep these till Sunday and give a uh, one each to the cats just as a treat. So yeah, that's that. Then I've got these here. Some more mushy stuff. This is the gourmet gold. This is the turkey. See if she likes that one. This is the uh, duck turkey in delicious. What's that say? Gravy. Yeah, so duck and turkey. Now to the hamsters. I got another bag of this garden forage because um, Maisie likes this. So um, I'm going to put this in, in the same tub where I've put the other one. So like the um, reloads in there. And she seems to like these as well, the triangles. <clears throat> and uh, these are safe for dwarfs, by the way. I did look at the ingredients. So I'll put that in the same tub as the other one. Then I've stocked up with them. Casper didn't like them, but dwarves, uh, I don't know why, but every time I get a dwarf, they don't seem to like hard stuff. But you, your dwarf might be uh, a chewer, so you so give them a try if you like. I've got these for Maisie, order control. Because at the moment with her being a baby, she's a bit of a stinky butt. Oh, proper stinky butt. <laughs> so I'll see if they help. Then I got these, uh, some more whimsies. I got this colour this time. So I've not tried Casper on them yet, but um, Maisie seems to like whimsies, so. Oh, there's Maisie. <laughs> then I'm uh, running out of nuggets, so um, I got some nuggets. So, like I said, in a few weeks I'll be doing a, a new diet video. 
uh, once they're both established and they're on the uh, the diet. That's like um, like I said ages ago. I never give nuggets on their own. That's just like a comp. That's just like uh, an extra with it. Just so I know if they're not eating all the moves, they are selective feeding. At least I know they're getting something. Then I got one of these. I'm going to take the washer off this and put it on the cage. Touch wood. All being well. Things never work out when I, when I plan things. And then you've all seen these. You must have seen these because I did a review on these last year. If you haven't seen it and you're a new subscriber, just scroll down and you'll see it. And um, it's quite funny actually. Because uh, if I remember rightly, I think Matilda and uh, Rosabi did a demo on them. But anyway, if um, you want to see the review, just scroll down my videos and you'll find it. So these are the... Uh, I thought I'd try the new Amis on these. These are the Free Dog Bakery. All natural mini biscuits. Peanut butter. And um, yeah, I'm going to try these on Maisie and... Uh, was, um, oh no. I know they said it. Casper. Yeah, so I think Maisie will like them. Not sure about Casper though. So guys, that's the haul for today. So I'm all sorted now with a... I'll be doing an Amster treat video soon once I've got everything together because I threw away some of the old treats now. Like I said, new Amis, new treats. So, yeah. I'll still be doing reviews, guys, so don't worry because I'll still be giving me Amsters the odd luxury treat. So... Yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Uh, got everything there. I've got these years antibiotics, a painkiller. Got the foods here and the biscuits, and uh, yeah. So I'll catch you later.